Hey guys, it's me, Logan. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be ranking all the weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, once again, this is my opinion, and if you disagree, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite and least favorite weapons are in this game. Alright, let's go. So, once again, we have the tiers. We have God, Best, Middle, or like Average. We have Bad, and Trash. So... Let's begin. So personally, I think the worst weapon in this game is probably the mini Uzi. I don't like them. Oh god, there's a pad right in front of my face. Oh, you can't my, miss my beautiful face. I think the mini Uzi is the worst weapon in this game. Um, it's just bad. I don't like it at all. Alright. Sorry. I feel bad now. Then, we have the AUG. The AUG is a light machine gun in this game. I'm going to be honest with you. The light machine guns did not do so good in this game. Besides one, and I'm pretty sure you guys know already what that is. I just don't like it too much. If you like it, that's alright. Alright. Then, we have the L86 LSW. That's a long name. I don't like this gun too much. It, has a lot of, it doesn't have a lot of ammo in it, I remember. Yeah. Wait, does it? I don't think it does. Or is that the- I think it's the all. Oh, I'm not sure. But anyways, I don't like this weapon. It's- I think it's three to the head. Um, with stopping power on. Yeah, that's really bad. Not thinking about it. Then, we have the bad. Look who came down. The M16A1. God, that weapon in Modern Warfare 1. Who? it was a beast. Overpower as heck, but it dropped so much. It used to be like 200 pounds, now it's 80. I don't know where I got that joke at, but I don't like it too much, really. Alright, then we have the W A Z O O or Q. I don't know. I don't like this weapon too much. And what is that thing at the end of the scope? Yeah, I usually just use the ACOG scope for it, and that's all. Then we have the M240. Use this weapon, I think, the mission. <clears throat> Remember, no Russian. That video. Not that video. What am I talking about? The campaign. The campaign mission. I don't like this weapon too much. Alright. Alright. Then for my middle, I have the M14 EBR. Now, these are the average weapons in this game. Alright, these are supposed to be, like, decent, but not so good. I think it's a one-shot to the head, which is good. And it doesn't even look like an M14. It just looks like an AK-47. Then, for we have the MP5K. Now, this is a lot of people would say this is one of the best weapons in this game, but I personally disagree. It has a lot of recoil. I think it's still a two-shot to the head. And... It doesn't have a lot in it. It doesn't have a lot of ammo in it either. Or in the magazines, I should say. Then, we have the P90. Now, a lot of people, once again, would disagree and think this would be higher, but I personally wouldn't um, either. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't think it's the best in the game, but I think it's decent. It's not my favorite, but it does look better in this game than the old one. I think it's... I think Modern Warfare 2... Made their guns look a lot better than any other Call of Duty. Alright. Then, we have the Vector. The Vector was a good weapon. It still looks amazing. It's been in many Call of Duties. It's been in... Uh, Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare... No, 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 no. Modern, no, it's been Black Ops 2. It's been Ghosts. Vance. And I think maybe Infinite. I'm not sure. But yeah. It's a good weapon. I'll give you that. I mean, the best. I have the M4A1, basically just the M4, but improved. It's still, still my um number one best tier thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> still, yeah. still the M14. Would you look at that? And yeah, it's a good weapon. That's all I have to say. Then this is where I want to be surprised. The Scar H. Now I think this is the best model for the Scar it's ever been in. Look at Fortnite for, for a second. Alright, I'm going to talk about Fortnite, and we're going to talk about it, alright? Alright? Alright. Fortnite, their scar looks just like it. And PUBG, it looks just like it too. 
And the new Modern Warfare still looks like it. It's just, this scar is like a realistic scar, and, and then the other Call of Duty is like in Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, they have the scar L. Like, is that even a real gun? I'm like, I'm not even sure if it's a real gun or not, is it? I'm gonna have to Google that. Anyways, it, it's just a really cool looking gun. It has that like white and like gray. Kind of looks like if it had a sandy texture, sandy camo to it. Alright, then I have the Foul. The Foul is a semi auto assault rifle. It's a one shot to the head, if I'm correct. It's a good weapon. Also, sounds really good too. It's just good. Good. Then, this surprised a lot of people, the F2000. A lot of people say this is trash tier or bad or some people average, but I think it's actually pretty cool. I don't like the iron sights on it, but everything else is pretty decent. I've got a lot of headshots with it, and I've almost got the fall texture, fall cable, I think it's called, or is it Red Tiger? I'm not sure. Then, I have the Bear 50 Cal. This is by far one of the most OP snipers by far in Call of Duty. Fast fire rate, sometimes without even stopping power on, it's a one shot to the chest. I think with stopping power, sometimes it's a one shot to the leg or and the chest. And definitely, oh my god, to the head, it's a one shot too. Surprise, not surprising. But yeah, it's a good weapon. Then, this might surprise a lot of people again, I have the AK-47. Also, a lot of guns in this game have like a little white texture, like the Scar, the AK, the Vector, um, what's another gun like that, um, I don't know. But a lot of guns in this game like really realistic, and I like it. And another funny thing about this, uh, about the Modern Warfare series, um, not like the newer Modern Warfare, but... Like one, two, and three, they all have, like all the people would start like itching their butt. I don't know why, but they look so weird compared to like the Black Ops and the um futuristic Call of Duties, or not even um, Call of Duty War at War to even have that. But I don't know. But you really tell if it's a person when you look at them because they always just look, like move around. But if you look at like Black Ops Two for a second. For like, if you think about it, they don't they just stand still. But yeah, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, AK-47 is an automatic. It's pretty slow, not really so, but it has decent fire rate. And it does not make sense. Has probably one of the most uh, has a lot of recoil to it. A little, I mean, not a lot, of, like mid recoil. And so, but the F-2000 has, uh, I think, high or something like that. I don't remember. But yes. Then we have the God tier. Now this is hard to do. I have I, I hold on. I'm looking at it right now. All right, I'm looking at it, and I probably have to say the best weapon in this game is either the ACR or the UMP45. Actually, no, it's the UMP45 with the silencer. Just think about it. We're gonna start. I'm gonna talk about that in a sec, but first we're gonna go over this. The intervention is on here. Intervention, aka the Dorito Sniper, <laughs> MOJ. God, this was such a meme back in the day. If you guys remember watching memes, like montages, like quick scopes, and it would just be hit markers. What am I talking about? You know what I mean. Psst. Anyways, this is a very good sniper. Very powerful. It's definitely bold action. It looks so cool too. And they even brought it back in Call of Duty Mobile, but they did the DLQ33, I think. But yeah. Then we have the FAMAS, another three burst weapon that's pretty overpowered. Just like in Modern Warfare 1, we had the M16A1, then we had the FAMAS in this game. So yeah. Also realizing there's a lot of more, there's a lot more guns in this game. And I did not do, do the secondaries in this game. If you guys want me to make a secondary video, let me know, or I'll just do it if I had no video ideas. Alright, then we have the ACR. The ACR has no recoil but silencer. You can put 5 million silencers on it and still have zero recoil. It's just a great weapon. doesn't have too much damage. The range is pretty good. The accuracy is amazing. It's great. That's all. 
Family of the Tar 21 has a little, not too much recoil, but like mid recoil to it. Damage is pretty high. Uh, accuracy is pretty good, and not too much range, but yeah. Then we have the RPD, probably one of the most overpowered weapons in this game, or probably one of the most overpowered white machine guns in the history of Call of Duty. It's great, it looks amazing too, and I think it fits perfect here. Then the UMP-45, a lot of people would say this is the most overpowered gun in Call of Duty. Don't get me wrong, the MP-40 from World I War is still probably the most overpowered Overused weapon in history with extended mag or whatever it's called Two shot per chest or lake. It's it's crazy Like can you imagine if they remastered it? Oh my god, that thing would get a huge nerve. It would be like six to the it would be like six to the head or something like that But anyways, you would be 45 silencer stopping power and Something that people cannot see on the radar. You're good. People are not. You're assassin, basically. If that makes sense. It's basically just a assault rifle and submachine gun together. It's so amazing, and I to totally don't recommend this because people are going to give you a lot of hate mails. But if you guys agree with this, let tell me in um comment, tell me down below. And yeah, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.